so here we are. We are in the Bellaghost Forge. Um, John, my map is right here. I guess I didn't name it. I can do that later. Um, so when you fix the great pumps this is the area that gets cleared you see that I put a gate there you know during the death list on uh, discord who made some videos did a great job paving the outside of this forge I've been working on this project for quite a while so this is where you come in and I'm going to pave this like he did. I think he did a fantastic job. This is this the outside. Looks kind of cool. Of all the forges, this one has a massive amount of vertical space. But it's very, very difficult to build in. Every once in a while when I reload this over the and I constantly load and unload, load and unload. Pieces go missing for no reason. This is a, a very difficult, very tall build. You'll notice that I didn't put down granite. Uh, I left it just the adamant blocks. I don't know what that weirdness is there. Um, I think that's in the game. Anyway... I use the bridge building technique that I'm in favor of and a ton and a half, maybe five tons of adamant. I mean, I used a ton of it. And uh, I did my basket weave pattern. So as you enter the top, I put my stone up here temporarily. Um, there's a dark growing area and then a large farm over here, and both of which can be expanded. I. I haven't occupied this space, um, but um, it is vast. I put a grand hearth up here for ambiance only. You see I have four king brew towers, brew tanks, uh, and of course, because I hate letters, you can just walk up and craft in any of them but this forge is one of the nicer ones to build in because of its vertical now I didn't put any protection around here in good dwarven fashion just so I could get up to the edge and you can look down so the rest of the brewery is down there the brewery is kind of tight and there's a lot of space here but it's not all easily usable I worked on several layouts for like a month to try to find an optimal one. This is the best I could come up with. Here's two new brew tanks. There's a lot of statues in here. You can look down over the uh, the Ufan uh, furnaces and of course the Great Forge. There's the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. They got five of the medium brew tanks, seven of the small kettles, and four of the uh, kings. Now, if I was willing to pave over the statues, I could have added six kings here, but I tried to leave the statues in a nice place. You'll, you'll see when I go down there. But I still get missing pieces off of this one, probably more than every other build. I had to embed, if you look here, um, add a bit into the walls to get it to work. But because there's stairs, it didn't want me to embed, or it was very difficult to embed um, 
entire wall section so I did just the adamant barriers into the wall it did work but um, this area in particular I lose a bunch of I put an extra reinforcement here in, in order to try to stop it and you'll notice uh, long corridors or arch corridors um, anyway still working out the kinks oh there's a couple pieces that I lost for no reason anyway uh, so you come down the flight of stairs and the stairs go down of course but if you come in here you get to the King's brew tanks I don't know what to do with this room I created it but it's empty. I didn't populate any of the bedrooms this time. I guess you could put a bedroom up here. There's a lot of space in this area. Not sure what you do with this. I also didn't adorn the walls. Any one of these walls is, is granite. I lined the outside walls with animate and the inside walls with granite. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. And uh, you could put paneling up here or whatever else, but I'm running a little low on resources. Uh, so here's the kitchen. Another grand hearth. Look up at the nice adamant ceiling. I use the flat panels uh, right here. Uh, there, those are actually the tall adamant pillars. Oh, I'm getting a stutter for some reason. I guess playing in 4K, editing in 4K, not exactly fantastic. Um, so this is an empty room. I'm trying to pan slowly. This is an empty room. This is the bottom of the second set of brew towers. I think I'm going to pause here while uh, that battle finishes. All right. Seven brew kettles overlook. I didn't know what to do with that area. It's kind of nice. I just left it be. I try to leave the um, the Duran statues, of course, alone and balconied. Now this is back where you had to do the repair. Did a nice balcony over here. You can come up here. It's just open area. Alright, this is the back side of the forge. Uh, I'm going to go around this area. Lots of empty space. Uh, there's just a ton. Here are two more bedrooms that are completely empty. Again, the walls are granite. I can inlay whatever I want. But uh, since I don't plan on occupying this space, the uh, cost of resources is just too much. Alright, so that completes this loop. And then if you go down, you come into the main crafting area before the forge. If you go left, there is a large tunnel and then a storage room. Plenty of storage. I just walked through areas that you could have storage and a massive museum armory. Through here you have the door out, which we're all familiar with. There is a double set of doors there. 
Which is why I don't worry about raids. Oh, I guess they only put one. I'll have to pick that. Uh, five medium brew tanks, which is the minimum. I could fit a few more over here, but I couldn't put a nice scaffolding in. Because everyone knows I hate ladders. No idea what to do with this space here, but it is what it is. I guess I could up there put in another couple of brew tanks, but um, right here. Anyway, here's the forge. It is a massive structure. Now I put in two tiers of uh, of flooring. Those adamant bridge structures. You notice on the that one I put a nice uh, edge on, but the upper one I did not because I wanted to get close to the edge to show you all. Tied everything in really tight to the pillars and I added a ton of pillars on my own. I connected this set of stairs which I came down a few minutes ago to the upper floor so there's a back side and a front side set of stairs oh I didn't show you up if you go up here there's another two rooms so there's six rooms six bedrooms on this side and two on the other that wood does poke through a little bit, but I thought, eh, it's fine. I could have changed that out, but decided not to. The layout's serviceable. Um, again, this isn't my favorite base. I think the efficiency of the other base, its size and layout's much better. But, uh... This is the Belagos Forge as I designed it. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up.